Thank you for joining us from wherever you are. Remember, DSTV Channel 279. You can catch us live also across GoTV Channel 106 and on our social media platforms. Let's begin with some updates on the situation in Ukraine involving Ghanaian students and other Ghanaian nationals there. We understand some of the Ghanaian students have begun arriving in neighboring Slovakia, Poland, Romania, as the government intensifies efforts to facilitate evacuation of the citizens amidst escalating tensions there. We understand over 200 other students are expected in Ghana soon. In fact, 21 of them are expected to touch down in Ghana in a few hours. Foreign Affairs Minister Shirley Ayoko Boche during a press briefing in Accra revealed 24 of them are already set to board flights to Ghana. At least 21 others have been sheltered in Hungary after they arrived there yesterday. Former Honorary Consul of Ghana to Hungary Divine Bodo Te, who received the students, assured everything will be done to ensure they are safe while they work to ensure those who remain stranded on the Ukrainian border are transported to safety. Let's cross over now to Bucharest, Romania. The Vice President of the Ghana Union of Students Association, Nukes, is standing by Dennis uh, Apia. Thank you, Dennis, for joining us. Uh, I imagine you are safe where you are as we speak. How many of you were able to make it to Romania? Thank you so much for having me currently. There are about, uh, I should say, um, 100 of us here in Romania. And... Uh, in Bucharest, as of now, there should be about 75 of us okay. here at the hotel, yes. And when did this happen? When did you arrive there and how smooth was the process? Because we understand a good number of your colleagues are still stranded in Ukraine. Yes, uh, the problem is particularly with the border from Ukraine uh, to uh, Romania. Uh, when you are able to get through that border, I'm sorry, I've lost my voice, so you have to bear with me. Um, when you are able to pass through that border, then um, ideally everything is very, very smooth. Uh, most of us got admitted through that border and then we got into a, near, a nearby town, which was called Bukovina. Some others were moved to a different city. Um, so then afterwards, um, a bus was organized and uh, um, the bus came to pick us um, yesterday at 10 p.m. in the evening. And then we got here at dawn, um, around six. And then we got admitted into the hotel where we currently are um, at seven, yes. Okay, now I know you are in touch with the rest of your colleagues who are still unable to make you know, the journey across the border. What is their current situation? Uh, uh, to be very sincere, all of us have had the toughest time trying to cross um, the Ukrainian border. It's chaotic there and uh, every one of, of, of the students there is not finding it easy at all. Um, particularly since it's a Ukrainian border to um, Romania, um, they allow most Ukrainians to cross rather than people of, of a different nationality. So um, the group that I was with literally spent over 15 hours trying to move um, just from the Ukrainian border into Russia and then um, would get our stamps uh, to, to, for us to be eligible to stay in um, Romania temporarily until government evacuates us from here. I was going to ask about so, uh, what the next plan is in terms of the evacuation plan. Yes, um, currently there is an agent here from the consular section um, who uh, would come for our passports and then um, get it um, stamped. And then afterwards, uh, would be able to move by commercial flights to Ghana. Yes. So the first batch of people who actually got into Romania um, left um, about an hour ago from here, and then their plane leaves in two hours from now. I understand there's and a then, major disruption in academic work and even social life altogether. This is not, you know, the best of times to be in as a student or as an individual. How are you and the rest of your colleagues keeping up the psychological and social emotional torture? Um, currently, for those of us who are here uh, in the neighboring countries, Romania, those who have been in crossover into Hungary, Poland, and Slovakia, it's, 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 it's quite settling now. But then for those that remain in Ukraine, and particularly 
a region called Sumi, it's, it's, it's very, very unsettling. Many are in panic and many are in fear because they are not able to move. They are the um, city, they are in the city which is the farthest in the east, very close to the Russian border. And then farthest from the neighboring country is where they can easily get admitted into like Romania, Poland and um, Hungary, yes. So we've been in touch with them and uh, literally um, every hour or two, they have to run into shelters, try to find some places to hide because the sirens go off signaling an intended attack, yes. Mm, that must be very troubling times. So thank you, Dennis, and continue to it keep safe is. while government continues efforts to evacuate you and the rest of the other colleagues back to safety. Dennis Apia in Kansas, there he is a thank vice you for president having me. of the National Union of Ghana Students in Ukraine.